Have you ever wondered why do we have the Light Forge Draenine as an allied race, yet they are the only Light Forge race, despite a bunch of races serving the light and being paladins and priests? Like, literally, what is stopping all the other races from becoming Light Forge? forged and becoming a sub race of the road. Well, in the most recent interview, Blizzard once again reiterated that they're working on making more classes and races available, starting with Dragonfly. Now, while this isn't a class or a race, can we get a light or maybe a void customization for all the current available races, especially with what is going on with the cosmology stuff in Dragonfly? Could this be a shift from faction focus to a more cosmological allegiance of things? After all, many of the current races are Titan forged in origin, so maybe some no longer want to align themselves with order, but instead want to do so with light or the void. Before we get into the video, I'd like to show you guys something really cool. This video sponsor, Yaha Studio. Essentially, a 3D platform where anyone can publish and create their own virtual multiplayer experience without any coding or server knowledge whatsoever. Here is a really cool example to show you just how simple it is to use. You pick one of the various templates in the asset library, you add a component, for example, the behavior player transformation. Then in the asset library, you can add any model, for example, this really cool dog model, and you just click view in the scene. Then you just assign the component by clicking add community component and we add the previous one we had used and voila you go into the play mode and you can immediately transform into the object that you just added. It is literally that simple and you can make your own dream game that you can play with friends with an incredibly straightforward UI. So make sure to use my link in the description below and download Yaha Studio completely free. So, the entire concept of light forging is, in all actuality, a really strange thing, and really when you think about it, it doesn't make all that much sense when combined with the currently available light classes for the other races. The entire idea of light forging comes from the light forged Draenei, that are actually just regular Draenei, that follow the Naru and join the army of the light directly. Over time, they were in a way infused with the light by the Naru and became a race of their own. You can kind of draw a parallel here to the real world where certain people are split apart for a really really long time and eventually they just become an entirely different culture now the light force then i aren't really all that different when compared to the regular Draenei, seeing that the Draenei had been incredibly close to the Naru as well, and the Light, as they were led by Welen, that was a follower of the Light, but they weren't as close as the Lightforge ones, and that were literally on a different ship, so they were really, really close to the Naru. However, what is really interesting is that the Draenei aren't the only races that we have seen in this edition in the game, even though they're the only playable ones. In a way, you can say Trellian is a Lightforged human with how long he has been with the army of the light and how close he was to Naru as essentially being the leader. Alleria could be a void forged elf. Another really notable example is literally the Natrazim Lothraxian that is a dreadlord that was light forged and it looks completely different like he was light forged to the max. Now it is another story that he may actually be a double agent as he was hinted at to be in Shadowlands which just goes to show how crazy the Natrazim are as they would literally change their shape entirely just to accomplish their mission. So I digress. That goes to just show us how any race can physically become Lightforged. It isn't even that crazy of a difference. Plus, seeing how identical they are to the original race, this could realistically just become a customization, so they would need to build a brand new race, models, all this stuff that would take a lot of work. So this brings us to the question, would it be possible to create options to Lightforge all the currently available races? And an even better question, would it be possible to do that for the Void as well to Void forge all the available races. Now, I know some time ago this would sound just <laughs> incredibly stupid, but with how much the cosmological stuff is happening about Shadowlands and Dragonflight and it is going to happen in the future, it is obvious that eventually we will get to the void and the light side of things. Right now in Dragonflight, the main focus seems to be on the Titans and the order chart of the cosmology, even though there is definitely some focus on the void as well with the old gods, but those are kind of just hints. We're learning that things are a lot different than we used 
to believe in the past, things are really not all that black and white. The Lightforge guys are not actually good, they're just now aligned with death cosmological force, so it is just a way to show allegiance to who they're following, but it is not some type of an evolution or ascension as these are like higher beings as we used to previously believe. I, I mean seriously, remember when the Prime Naru Zera literally tried to Lightforge Illidan and he essentially destroyed her because he didn't want it to happen and he didn't want to be Lightforged? Well, the same thing happened in Alternate Renor where they created a so-called Light Bound. Now, uh, this might not be the exact same scenario, but essentially, the Light Army established domination of Alternate Renor as we left it and they decided to just start Light Forging people by force whether they want it or not. So, because of this, I think it could be a really interesting and a really revolutionary concept for World of Warcraft. With the recent truce, the good relationship between the Horde and the Alliance and Blizzard confirming that a major faction war won't happen ever again, they're obviously distancing themselves from the two factions, the Horde and the Alliance and this conflict. Most recently, Blizzard said that Dragonfight is the start of a brand new era for the game and with this brand new era, they're digging hard into the cosmology which is at this point quite obvious. Even before the expansion is out, there is already heavy stuff on the first ones in Dragonfight, the Titans, what is really going on in the universe. At the moment, these are just hints, it's not a big but it is obviously going to be big. We're learning that we have been lied to the entire time and that everyone seems to be fighting for themselves in this cosmos of the Warcraft universe. So maybe it is time for us players to shift from the faction paradigm to the cosmological paradigm and that we could potentially choose allegiance to the light or the void or maybe we could even stretch this to all the other cosmological forces. I mean Blizzard literally already started this concept. We have the Void Elves which even though they are not named Void Forge, they are literally that elves that embrace the void. So at the moment we have these two races that are following these cosmological powers even though they are a part of the Horde and the Alliance. However, literally just think about it, what is stopping us from expanding this to currently all the available races? Blizzard already started the initiative by removing the race class restrictions and now we are getting some really unholy combinations such as Orc Paladins which is literally this Lightforge thing. I'm guessing the excuse they are going to be using for these new priests and paladins the races are that they started learning about it after our experience with the Grand Army of the Light, which in a way can turn them into the Light Force. So let's examine how could this happen, what races would be easy to Light Void Forge and which ones would definitely be tricky. So one of the easy ones would be just your base races, the cookie cutter ones, the bread and the butter of the World of Warcraft universe, that would be the humans, orcs, dwarves and elves. With the exception of the recent introduction of the light to the orcs, these four are just incredibly versatile, they already have the shadow variations and the orcs are especially close to the dark magics, they have quite a bit of experience with this, so these four could so easily be turned to these sides without any additional lore that would need to be introduced. Now gnomes would be a similar story to the dwarves, pretty much, although it is a bit weird but let's be real, with gnomes pretty much any class outside of spellcasters and rogues is kinda just weird for them, I mean we have warrior tanks for a race that is just so so small. Now. The Night Elves would have an incredibly interesting dynamic which could be the focus of an entire new storyline and a possible future expansion. There is this entire story with the Night Warriors, the good and the evil side of Elune, the moon and the sun and this dichotomy that could serve as an incredibly interesting story plot. One could be the followers of the light side of Elune while the others could follow her darker void side, especially if you learn that Elune is connected to these forces as we of course still don't really know what she is except that she's the sister of the Winter Queen but she could still be literally anything. Now. In regards to the trolls, this could be quite easy as well. Generally, the priests don't have anything to do with the light as light like full on light, but after our discovery they can adapt to light directly, so having the light and the void for the trolls would just be incredibly easy. In fact, we could extend this same logic to the Worgen, the Goblins or even the Pandaren. Would be a tad bit weird, but really nothing out of the ordinary and nothing really that hard to introduce. However, the two problematic races would be the Tauren and the Undead and sort of in that order of complexity. The Tauren are really not that much of a problem, the only thing is they are more druids than their light paladins. However, once again with the introduction of them to these energies, they can easily adapt. I mean, we are already used to Tauren paladins, there are Tauren primalists, there are Tauren old got followers, so these guys are not exactly the peacekeepers and the nature people that we believe them to be to the extreme and it could also be a similar storyline to the Night Elves. The only really problematic race would be the Undead. Sure, the Void Forge Undead would be incredibly easy to introduce and in my opinion possibly the coolest addition out of all these races as that would be like the Undead Shadow Priests or Warlocks or just 
2.0. However, a light forge undead would just be so weird, or it would have been until we got Kelly Metal. So, because of this, this might just be the most interesting one and the easiest one to introduce. Kalia is the first, and as far as we know, the only person to be resurrected in this way. And many might decide to side with the light and become just like Kelly Manitil, that is actually one of the Forsaken leaders. And Kalia is literally a light forged undead. So, as you're gonna see from all these examples, these seriously would be quite an easy thing for Blizzard to add to the game. There's no need to add some crazy lore, some crazy explanations that they would need to do a lot of mental gymnastics around. Now, you might be wondering, what is the point of light forging or void forging races when you can already play as the light in the shadow classes? And the obvious response to that is because you can be a light undead, for example, but you don't have to be a paladin, you can just be a light undead rogue. Seeing that forging these races wouldn't be all that different, there would be no point in creating allied races. They could just give you a choice to choose between a normal or the light or the void version, and then you can pick the available classes, and this would literally just be a sort of a customization with maybe a few abilities. Now, personally, I don't expect to see this happening in Dragon Fighters. There is nothing that big with the light or the void for them to make this addition to the game. However, with all this stuff leading into the cosmology and how there is just no right and wrong and how everyone is just pushing their own narrative and storyline, why not give us players the ability to choose which narrative we want to believe? Right now, we're learning that many of our characters may actually be Titan Forged, and that is an interesting point as well. I mean, could you kind of see the similarity between the name Titan Forged or Void or Light Forged? Could just be a naming coincidence but could also be an interesting hint. So what if we decide we no longer want to be aligned to Order and the Titans and the Titan Forge, but the Void or the Light instead? I mean, it would be a super cool addition if we would be given that choice. Previously, as I said, this would sound incredibly ridiculous, but with the new era Blizzard is talking about and them talking about changing WoW to the core, doing more evolutionary things, this could be an incredibly interesting and fun concept that could distance ourselves from the faction paradigm and it would draw us closer to the cosmological one. Thank you for watching, check out the possible restoration of Azeroth by clicking on the screen and check out the notes academy for videos of real world history. See you next time.